everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be covering the plugin manager in Logic Pro. If you're not familiar with the plugin manager, it's a separate menu that allows you to manage all of the third party and included stock plugins with Logic. You can enable them, disable them, you can rescan them if you're having any issues. And my favorite thing is that you can organize them into different folders and sections based on your specific workflow. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'm going to jump right in and show you everything you need to know about this plugin. Okay. So the plugin manager, you can get there by going to Logic Pro, Preferences, and way down here, go to Plugin Manager. So this is the plugin manager here. And up at the top left, we have this Restore Default Settings. So this is gonna completely reset your file system and everything back to kind of default like stock logic. So definitely only do that if you wanna completely reset it. Um, over on the right, you can search for any plugin. So if I want to see like API, um, then here's all the API plugins that I have. Also anything that has <laughs> like Decapitator has API in it. Just a search box, you can hit X to clear it. Over here on the left column, this is all the different ways there are to sort and find your plugins. So up here is show all, so this is just gonna literally be everything. And then down here under the category, you have different folders. And so these are gonna be what actually shows up when you go to add a plugin. Let me pop out of here. So I'm going to add a plugin here and you see all these folders, EQ, Dynamics, Delay, Reverb, Saturation, Modulation, Specialized, and Utility. These are the folders that I have set up like outside of the default logic stuff because that's usually the order and the categories I wanna look for things. Um, so let's go back to Plugin Manager, Preferences, Plugin Manager. So you can see that is set up the same here. The only thing that doesn't show up is Instruments and Instruments actually show up on a MIDI track. So not only can you do your like effects plugins here you can put all of your your midi instruments your contact your omnisphere all of that kind of stuff so i've put all of my favorites in the instruments folder so that way when i go to a software instrument right here when you click instrument then down here you see instruments and then you've got all of those so a couple really cool ways already that you can organize stuff so in this section, you can add whatever you want, you know, new folders. You can drag them around, organize them however you want. You can also right click to remove stuff. I will say you cannot remove the system folders. So there, when you start, there already is a folder for EQ and you can't get rid of that. You can rename them, but you cannot delete them. So you do have to kind of work with what's there. Um, down here, one spot further, you have the plugin sorted by manufacturer. So what I recommend is you set up your category folders and then go down here to your manufacturer folders and just kind of click drag into the folder that you want as a way to quickly find things. If you buy a new plugin from a new manufacturer, it will automatically add it in here when you first open Logic. So in this big middle section here, this tells you everything there is to know about the plugin. So for this API 550, for example, you have the name, you can enter a custom name and a short name. So if I just wanna say, you know, API, well, let's say 550A mono, that's what I wanna put instead of all of that. And then the short name, you could just go 550A M for mono, right? And then when you go to load up that plugin, you'll see it as you've changed it instead. Um, so that's a cool way to do it. And then you'll see the short name right here, 550A Mono. So that's another way you can organize and customize things. As you move over, it'll tell you what type of effect it is. So most of the plugin like, you know, effects like EQ compression, those are called effects. And then under instruments, you can have, they're called instruments. Um, there's other things like MIDI controlled effect, I believe, MIDI controlled effect. So it just depends that just lets you know kind of what it is, in case you forgot. It also tells you the manufacturer, what version it's on, and then this compatibility thing here. If you're having issues with a plugin, you will see it noted right here. But what you can do if you're having an issue or something's not working, you can actually highlight it and then come down here to reset and rescan selection. So if you have a plugin and it's just like, hey, it failed loading, check with manufacturer, blah, 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 come to the plugin manager first 
and highlight all the ones that said that and just hit reset and rescan selection. Hitting reset and rescan selection is going to restart the process that Logic does when it first opens, when it says, you know, validating audio units or scanning audio units it will manually re-trigger that to happen. This other button here, disable failed audio units, it's going to disable any plugins that didn't work. So instead of you going through and manually figuring it out, you can just disable all of it and it will not try to use them anymore. And you can also uncheck right here where it says use. Any plugins you don't wanna see or don't wanna use, you can just uncheck it and then they won't show up. So if I go down to waves, like waves gives you so many plugins, like an overwhelming amount of plugins. And so, like right here, for example, the C1 comp. Like I don't want the C1 comp gate or the C1 sidechain. So I've unchecked those. I only want to see the C1 comp and the C1 gate. None of that other stuff. You can really go through and kind of thin out the herd and get it down to like the essential plugins that you really like. And that's definitely something I'd recommend doing because it's just going to save you like mental clutter. Like you don't need Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6. Just check the ones you want. It saves a lot of space and then if you do need to go look for a plugin, you're not looking through like hundreds of plugins. And this might not be a problem for you if you're just using stock stuff, you don't need to worry about it, but it's definitely something to note like if you have a lot of plugins. A uh, full audio unit reset, I believe that's gonna reset everything. So I wouldn't recommend hitting that if you like what's going on. If you have any questions about the plugin manager or using third party plugins with Logic in general, let me know down in the comments. I've gone through a handful of this, so I might be able to help you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe.